uh, but this might ring a bell with some of you. This is a, about a letter that a Texas Tech co-ed wrote to her parents after she'd been here a while. And she says, I'm sorry that I've been remiss in writing. Sorry for my thoughtlessness. Uh, but I want to bring you up to date. The skull fracture and the concussion I got when I jumped out the window of my residence hall when it caught fire is pretty well healed. I only spent two weeks in the hospital and I can almost see normally. I only have sick headaches once a day. Fortunately, the fire and my jump was witnessed by an attendant at a local gas station. And he's the one who called the fire department and the ambulance. And he also visited me in the hospital. And since I had nowhere to live because of the burnt out residence hall, he offered to share his apartment. It's a, really a basement room, but it's pretty cute. He's a very fine boy. And we've fallen deeply in love. And we're planning to get married. We haven't set the date yet, but it will be before my pregnancy begins to show. <laughs> yes, mother and dad, I'm pregnant. And I know how much you're looking forward to being grandparents. And I know that you'll give uh, the baby the same tender love and care that you gave me when I was a child. The reason for the delay in our marriage is that my boyfriend has a minor infection that has prevented us from passing our premarital blood test and I've carelessly caught it from him. But I know you'll welcome him into the family with open arms. He's very kind, not well educated, but very ambitious. Okay, now that I brought you up to date, let me tell you, there was no fire. I, I do not have a concussion or a skull fracture. I was not in the hospital, I'm not pregnant, I'm not infected, I'm not engaged, there is no boyfriend. However, I'm going to make a D in history and an F in chemistry. <laughs> it's all relative, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously, we hope that you will have many fond memories, maybe of a, a professor or two that caused you to uh, maybe stretch a little further than you thought you could. Uh, maybe the the basketball team that went to the Elite Eight this year, that's certainly an improvement over what you experienced the first couple of years that you were here. <laughs> the Carol of Lights, maybe uh, every Friday on game day weekend when you came to campus and saw that the Saddle Tramps had uh, decorated Will Rogers in red. Lots of special memories. In 1998, the Student Alumni Board, that's the group that greeted you when you came tonight and helped you get seated. They're kind of the host and hostesses of this event. They did a market study among Texas Tech students to try to determine if they would embrace a single ring tradition. And the results were very positive. So then they sat down with the Student Government uh, Association group and designed the ring that you will receive tonight. And it will not change. You had to have 75 hours to be here tonight. When you put that ring on tonight, we recommend that you put it on with a double T facing inward. On graduation day, President Skuvenik will invite you to take off the ring, turn it around so the double T faces outward, uh, symbolic that you are a graduate of Texas Tech. When you registered tonight, the Alumni Association is giving you a free membership in its association, and President Skuvenik, through the President's Office, is going to give every graduate a free membership in the Alumni Association. So in your case, it'll be two. We hope you'll continue that membership after that. We hope you'll be lifelong members and stay in touch with your university, and this is one good way to do it. And we also encourage you to stay in touch and support the college that you graduated from. It's all part of the Red Raider experience. There's a there's a slogan in the Matador song that says, bear our banners, and that's what we encourage you to do, is to bear the banners of Texas Tech. Wherever you go, you more than likely will find Texas Tech people. We have uh, uh, chapters all over the place. Uh, they're involved in a lot of different activities. We'd encourage you to get involved. It's not all about money, believe it or not. Uh, sometimes it's just a, ma a matter of pride. It's a matter of being there. It's going to a college night encouraging uh, seniors to come look at Texas Tech. 
put in just standing up and putting in a good word for our university. We encourage you to do that throughout the rest of your lifetime after you graduate. Let me introduce the participants in the ceremony. This is Dr. Michael San Francisco, who is the Dean of the Honors College. He will present you with your ring as you come across the stage. We want you to bring that card with you to the table so we can properly identify who you are. Uh, once you have received the ring and are seated, we'd ask you to just keep it in the box until you're given further instructions. Chris Sneed is our Director of Facilities here and he will read your names as you come across the stage. And Dr. Todd Chambers, who is an Associate Dean and Associate Professor in the College of Media and Communications, will then kind of take you on a tour of this ring and point out the features of the ring and some of the history and some of the tradition and the background of the symbols that are on your ring. The Texas Tech Federal Credit Union is the official sponsor of this event tonight and they will present you with a replica a class ring paperweight as you exit the stage. This time I'd like to introduce to you Tyler Young who is a representative of the Federal Credit Union. He has a word or two to say. Well, congratulations. It's good to be here with you tonight and to celebrate uh, this special accomplishment. If you'll just take a minute and look around the room, uh, you're going to see family, friends, classmates, professors, just people that supported you in your journey. Uh, this is a great celebration. It's a time to remember that. Um, but I also want you to think about the legacy of Red Raiders uh, that have gone before you. And so now you're part of that family, you're part of that legacy, and you get to continue that on. So we're just happy to be here to celebrate with you, and uh, we'll have a gift for you down here, so don't forget to stop by. Congratulations. We certainly appreciate the Texas Tech Federal Credit Union for their sponsorship here tonight. And also, after you exit and receive the paperweight, we'll ask you to sign a roll at the end down there. This is a roll that every student who has ever participated in this ceremony has signed. So we'll ask you to kind of conclude your journey with that signature. Uh, also on stage tonight is the president of Saddle Tramps, Zach Williams. His role in this ceremony will be explained to you by Dr. Chambers. Let me introduce our marketing staff. Uh, this is Mandy Wiley. Mandy is the Director of Affinity Merchandise. She's in charge of this event tonight. Christina Butler is our Vice President for Marketing. Brett Weingarner is our Director of Multimedia and Communications. Laura Bixler is our Director of Membership. Savannah Butler is the President of the Student Alumni Board. And Tim Shore, the gentleman over here with his hand up, graduate of Texas Tech, has a special role to play tonight because he is the representative of the Balfour Company. That's the company that manufactured your ring. So if you have any concern or, or question about the ring, he'll be right here when this is over to address any qu question you might have. We obviously want you to be 100% satisfied with this ring. So if you have any question, uh, Tim will be glad to, to try and address that for you. Grad images, we'll take a picture of you receiving your ring and also will be available in, ar around the building and outside the building by the sculpture for additional photographs if you choose. Let me introduce to you uh, Dr. San Francisco. As I said, he's the Dean of the Honors College. He's a professor in the Department of Biological Sciences and an adjunct professor in the Department of Immunology, Molecular Microbiology, that's a mouthful, <laughs> in the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. He's the director of the Clark Scholarship Program. He's a special advisor to the Vice President for Research at this university. He has also served as an Associate Dean at one time in the Honors College, as well as Interim Vice President for Research, where he worked on faculty development, interdisciplinary scholarship, and strategic initiatives. We're pleased to have Dr. San Francisco with us tonight. Hello everybody, thank you for being here. This is a great thing. I just want to tell you one important thing before we uh, take off on the rest of the proceedings. So this program, the ring ceremony, began in 1999. That's 20 years ago. Bill Dean, 
who's retiring, has been at Texas Tech for 55 years and has Woo! presented in every single one of these ceremonies. Isn't that amazing? So it's truly an honor to be here. I have been at Texas Tech University for 28 years. This is my 28th year and I haven't earned a ring yet. For some reason, I don't know. Perhaps they'll give me one when I retire. But anyway, I don't want to take any more time. I just want you to all look around, as was remarked earlier, and just say a big thank you to your family and friends around you who have supported you thus far through your journey. So let's say thank you to all the family, friends, and well wishes here. And so now, without further ado, I'm going to sit down and let the proceedings continue. Thank you. All right, everybody. Ready to get some rings? Yeah. Right. OK, you can get excited. It's a pretty fun time. <laughs> Mandy, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Dr. San Francisco, are you ready? Yes, sir. Students, are you ready? Yeah. Woo! Parents, are you ready? Yeah. See that? They're ready for y'all to get off the payroll. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. They don't know I'm reading names right now. <laughs> Let's begin. Alyssa Acosta. Laredo. Sergio Aldana, Houston. Alexander Armstrong, Houston. Abigail Baker, Columbus. Reagan Baker, Houston. Alexandria Banks, Flower Mound. Christian Barajas, Garland. Robert Bearden, Bernie. Cassie Benefield, Mason. Dakota Betancourt, Eagle Pass. Christian Blanco, Bogota, Colombia. Caden Bostwick, Amarillo. Levi Box, Anna. Baylor Boydston, Bushland. Colton Bracco, Frisco. Madison Brazel, Richmond. Weston Brooks, Cisco. Ridge Kane, Hudson Oaks. Bryce Carlisle, Lubbock. Siobhan Carvin, Sugarland. Taylor Castillo, Shirts. Christopher Cavazos, Harlingen. Coulter Cornelius, Amarillo. Stephen Curtis, Murphy. Cameron Dawson, Houston. Fernando De Jesus, Cyprus. Ray De Leon, Big Spring. Anthony De Luna. Houston. Brian DePhillips, Flower Mound. 
James Dolan's the fourth, Grenberry. Kimberly Dominguez, Denver City. Christian Dominguez, Denver City. Daryl Donald II, Marshall. Daniel Drozd, Lake Dallas. Emily Eason, McKinney. Trent Edmonds, Richardson. Yasmin Esquivez, Lytle. Tyler Ayer, Georgetown. Ruben Faz, Dallas. Fernando Fernandez, Cypress. Ariel Garcia, Odessa. Gloria Garcia, Sugarland. Jordan Garcia, Lovington, New Mexico. Kevin Garcia, Cyprus. Jennifer Garza, Lubbock. Jeremy Gonzalez, Carrollton. Spencer Grewatz, McKinney. Kirk Gale, La Mesa. Matthew Hancock, Austin. Sydney Hatfield, Amarillo. David Hilburn, Leander. Erica Hornig, West Brooklyn, Illinois. David Houston, The Woodlands. Tony Huerta, Rockford, Michigan. Martin Ibarra, Houston. Stephanie Inman, Midland. Jenna Jackson, Leveland. Aaron Jacobs, Midland. Tyler Jinsky, San Antonio. Connor Johnson, Lubbock. Jonathan Jones, Georgetown. Ryan Jones, College Station. Matthew Kammer, Round Rock. Austin Kiniston, Perland. Daniel Lee, Diana. Jacob Lerma, San Antonio. Timothy Loader, Lubbock. Leland Luger, Houston. Cesar Lopez, Dallas. Samson Lotigo, Kampala, Uganda. Rance Lowry, Amarillo. Russell Lyons, Tallahassee, Florida. Brittany Maldonado, Georgetown. Nicholas Mamia, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Jamil Marsden, Frisco. Madison Martin, Hardesty, Oklahoma. 
Jacob Martinez, Houston. John Mayers, Olney. Paul Mayfield, Carrollton. Wesley Missouri, Katie. Mia McIntyre, Poteet. Alistair McPhail, Spring. Jacob Mendoza, Allen. Clifford Miller, China Spring. Emily Mullenkoff, Lavernia. Landon Moore, Magnolia. Marissa Moore, North Richmond Hills. Manuel Morales, Jr., San Benito. Colton Neighbors, Springtown. Bethany Naranjo, Thorndale. Lee Nichols, Spring. Daniel Nolte, Plano. Sandra Otiambo, Lubbock. Mark Onorato, Plano. Ryan Ortegon, El Paso. Miguel Ortiz, San Luis, Mexico. Jaslyn Pais, Richwood. Traylon Patterson, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Zeth Pena, Conroe. Thomas Peppers, Fort Worth. Joseph Fund, St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Lily Pollard, Capel. <laughs> Vanessa Powell, Sierra Blanca. <laughs> Luis Puente, Abilene. Lauren Purser, Garland. Eduardo Ramos, Houston. Marissa Ramos, Lubbock. Florencia Rangel, Pasadena. Andrea Rankin, Austin. Gatlin Reed, Austin. Kyle Reimer, Lubbock. Oliver Rodriguez. Oliver Rodriguez, Lubbock. Logan Rowan, Harlingen. Harlingen. <laughs> Marcus Ruiz, Kyle. Roman Ruiz, Seminole. Taylor Rushing, Longview. Dylan Salas, Lubbock. Daniel Sanabria, Conroe. Maria Sanabria, Conroe. Alex Schreier, Lago Vista. 
Dalton Scorgi. Chula Vista, California. Oh, nah, I know. This is one of my saddle tramps, and I just messed up his name. <laughs> I'm going to say it again, Dalton. Dalton Scorgi, Chula Vista, California. A thousand names, a thousand names in four nights, and I messed up one of my own guys. <laughs> Augusta Scott, Aubrey. Cole Shara, Katie. <laughs> Joshua Simmons, Willis. Drew Squares, Houston. Colin Smart, Magnolia. Katie Spradlin, Pflugerville. Joseph Stewart, Farmer's Branch. Austin Stubblefield, Plano. Anissa Torres, Fort Worth. Jared Tulio, Sugarland. Itzel Valencia, Morton. Elita Villarreal, Carthage. Erica Wanky, San Antonio. Jake Ware, Wheeler. Trace Warner, Plano. Cleo Weber, Huffman. Christian West, North Richmond Hills. Benjamin Wilkinson, Keller. Florian Wilfort, Katie. Whitney Williamson, Lubbock. Norman Wu, Sugarland. I'm going to say it. Omar Zainadin. Omar Zainadin, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Samantha Zurita, San Antonio. Besma Mohammed, Brooklyn, New York. Did we miss anyone? Did anyone that came that to get a ring get a ring tonight? It has been my honor and your pleasure, my pleasure, to read your names tonight. <laughs> See, I can't even say that right tonight, guys. <laughs> it's been that kind of night. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Go, Chris. That's Chris Snead, everybody. Way to go. Um, Students, uh, Dr. San Francisco mentioned this earlier, but uh, let's do it again. Why don't y'all stand up and uh, thank your parents and your family and friends that have come out tonight. Some from a long way off. Students, let's congratulate our, our families tonight. Now, parents, I have a, uh, parents, uh, significant others, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents. If you are proud, if, and if you think your son, daughter, significant other is the best one in the room, why don't you show them how much you love them? Let's give them a round of applause for tonight. Did y'all hear that? They are extremely proud of you. 
like we all are. Congratulations, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this official ring ceremony of Texas Tech University. The official class ring um, symbolizes a very significant achievement in your academic career here at Tech. And I want to congratulate each one of you on this wonderful accomplishment. Now, at this time, you can open your boxes. You can take out your rings, but don't put them on yet, okay? Just hold them in your hands. Because tonight, what I want to do is I want to take you on a tour of the iconic symbols represented on your ring by leading you on an imaginary journey through campus and your time here at Texas Tech. Now guests, you can use your program and you can follow along with us on this journey around the ring. And all you have to do is open it up and you will start seeing where we're gonna start. Now students, think about that first time you heard about Texas Tech University. Y'all remember that? I mean, good grief. We had someone from the United Arab Emirates here tonight, Michigan, Illinois, Maryland, uh, California, Lubbock, Florida, <laughs> Alney. Y'all remember that first time you, you heard about tech though? You remember that? Maybe it was from a parent or a relative who attended this great university. Maybe it was on television when uh, you might have seen someone running down the field for a, a touchdown. Maybe it was just watching another sporting event. Or perhaps it was when you began looking at colleges and you started browsing through college catalogs there in your high school um, library or counselor's office. Um, I guarantee you, you looked it up on your smartphone. But you probably looked at dozens of universities, but one stood out. The one with the scarlet and black, the one with the double T. So last week, my dean dropped off something to me, and it was a pen uh, recognizing my service to Texas Tech University. Dr. San Francisco mentioned that he has been at Tech for 28 years. Dr. Dean has been here for 55 years. Mine is just a lowly 25-year pin. And Dr. Dean got on to me because uh, I missed the ceremony, but my dean thankfully brought me the pin. So I've been here for 25 years. Now then, I know many of you probably are going, there's no way he could have been here teaching for 20. He doesn't look a day more than 10 years into this thing. <laughs> And it's kind of complicated because the years of service count like time when I was a student assistant here as an undergrad or maybe a graduate student when I did the master's program here. Um, but I've been here um, almost half my adult life and I love this university. This is a very special place to me. Um, I grew up on a farm about 50 miles from here, uh, just uh, east of Wellman, Texas. That's south of Brownfield, if anybody knows where that is. Um, so I kind of grew up in the shadows of Texas Tech, and I remember uh, listening to uh, radio broadcast by a legendary broadcaster by the name of Jack Dale. Some of you in the room uh, may remember uh, Jack Dale, and as he called Red Raider football and basketball games, and he'd call them from far off places like Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I used to think, I'm going to go to that exotic location one day. And one day I went there, and I was like, man, Lubbock is great. <laughs> Now, neither of my parents went to college. Actually, my mom went one semester, and then uh, uh, at Christmas, she and my dad eloped. And uh, she, uh, uh, they just, they were my parents, but neither one of them went to college. Now, my maternal grandparents did go to college. And uh, my granddad was actually a 1971 Texas Tech University graduate. He had served in the military during World War II and uh, waited a few years, then came back and received his uh, degree in business in 1971. And I'll never forget being at their house and, and watching uh, television and sitting in front of a TV, which was actually like a piece of furniture, you know, in the room. And uh, sitting on top of that TV, there was a ceramic Raider Red. I don't know if y'all remember uh, that. Uh, some of you back in the back side of the room may remember those ceramic porcelain uh, figurines and actually, They've kind of redone this, but just on the other side of, of, of this wall here, you can see uh, examples of these 
uh, sort of former Southwest Conference uh, mascots. And one of those is Raider Red. And you can see, that's, it's not the one that was at my grandparents' house, but it's one just like it. So I kind of grew up right here knowing that I was probably going to be a Red Raider, and I'm very thankful that I have. But I can tell you, after receiving that 25-year pin last week, it makes a night like tonight pretty special for me. Uh, and I just want to congratulate each one of you on that. You are a Red Raider, and that is really, really special. Now, tonight, it's so special that I kind of brought something with me that is one of my most prized possessions. Because when I was a student here at Texas Tech, we didn't have this. And I'm very thankful that we have this now. But what I brought with me tonight is my granddad's Texas Tech ring from 1971. And this is pretty special. So, thank you. What I want you to do now is I want you to look at the top of your rings, okay? Whether you have a traditional ring or a signet ring, the iconic double T sits prominently on top. There's no other symbol more associated with Texas Tech University than the double T. Although no one has ever claimed credit for the design, historical documents date the first appearance back to 1926 when it showed up on some sweaters uh, that were made for our football team. The double T represents the foundation of our university as Texas Technological College, as well as the university that we have grown to become. Inscribed around the raised double T is our official name, Texas Tech University, with two separate stars in the date of foundation, 1923. It was then when the Texas legislature decided that rather than a branch campus of Texas A&M University, <laughs> an entirely new university would better serve the needs of the West Texas region. On February 10th, 1923, Texas Governor Pat Neff signed the legislation creating Texas Technological College. And in July of that year, a committee began searching for a location for the school. When the members of the committee visited Lubbock, they were overwhelmed by the residents that were lining the streets to show support for the idea of hosting this institution. That August, Lubbock was chosen on the first ballot over some other area towns. Some of these you're, you're gonna recognize. One was Floyd Ada, the other Plainview, and then finally Sweetwater was also in contention. Thank goodness they came to Lubbock. <laughs> As you turn your rings to the left, our journey around campus begins. Now picture yourself, you're standing, you've just left Chimmy's. <laughs> and they don't, Chimmy's is this really nice place where you eat tacos. <laughs> so you're standing at the Broadway entrance to campus, right? Directly in front of you is that large granite university seal designed in 1924 by the campus master planner, William Ward Watkin. That's the same seal you're gonna find engraved on your ring. This seal first appeared on Texas Tech diplomas in 1948, but was not officially approved as the seal of Texas Tech University until 1953. Now let's examine that up close. President Horn, who was truly a visionary when it came to our foundation in early years, he selected five symbols inside the seal which he believed were the five great institutions of a dem democracy. In the upper left quadrant, you're gonna find a book that represents church. In the lower left quadrant is a key symbolizing home. In the upper right quadrant is the star, the symbol for state, and in the lower right quadrant is the lamp, the lamp of learning, representing school. These elements are separated by 10 cotton bowls representing industry, as well as Lubbock and its surrounding nine cotton producing counties. Sitting atop is the American Eagle, our national bird. The shield is surrounded by the inscription, Texas Tech University, Lubbock. Now, from the seal, walk with me down the Amon G. Carter Plaza, past the fountains, past where the Christmas tree sits during the Carol of Lights, past the statue of Will Rogers in Soap Suds. Remember when he's, when he's always wrapped in red on game days? And let's go into the center of campus. They're right there at Memorial Circle. 
Now, as you turn your rings to the right, imagine turning physically to the north, okay? And you look down the engineering key. What do you, what do you see? You, what do you see right, right over the top of that engineering building right down there? Jones AT&T Stadium, Stadium, and now some uh, really cool practice facility, right? Now think back to me the excitement of attending your very first Texas Tech football game. Y'all remember that? Do you remember walking through campus with the band and then going there for that first time outside of the student section, getting in there, finding your seat? Remember the first time you saw the mask rider lead the team out onto the field? Doesn't matter how many times you see it, it is still one of the most dramatic interests for college football. Now on the right side of your ring, you're gonna see an image of this beloved mascot. That symbol is no stranger to you, but perhaps you may not be aware of its history. In 1936, the same year, Arch Lamb founded the Saddle Tramps as, the male, as a male spirit organization. A ghost rider appeared at the beginning of a home football game with the Arizona State Lumberjacks. Resplendent in a scarlet and black cape and mask, the riders circled the field at the start of the game on a palomino and then galloped off to the amazement of the crowd. I can only imagine that. It wasn't until 1954 in Tech's appearance in the Gator Bowl that Joe Kirk Fulton, with red cape and mask, rode a borrowed black horse into the Gator Bowl Stadium to the utter astonishment of the crowd. The football team was evidently inspired by the mask rider as Tech went on to pummel Auburn 35 to 13. And so the tradition was fixed. To this day, Texas Tech retains the scarlet and black caped mask rider on a black horse. Now, using your imaginations, we're gonna turn this way. We're gonna face the administration building. It's one of the first structures built on, a cam on campus more than nine decades ago. The building was architecturally designed in the Spanish Renaissance style with ornate carvings, archways, and its Spanish tile roof. One of the main features of this building is its twin bell towers. The one that's on the west that houses the carillon bells that you hear ringing out musical melodies, and the one on the east is the one that houses the two victory bells. We've heard those a lot lately, right? Baseball, basketball. Anyway. If you look behind the mask rider on your ring, you're gonna see the engraving of the east bell tower. The Victory Bells, which together weigh 1,200 pounds, were first rung in 1936 after a win over TCU. The Saddle Tramps and High Riders, part of our campus spirit organizations, continue to ring the Victory Bells after athletic wins and other momentous occasions, such as tonight's ring ceremony. We have with us on stage, Mr. Zach Williams. He is president of Saddle Tramps, and he is now gonna head over to that bell tower and ring victory bells for each one of you tonight that received a ring. Zach, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Now, look with me inside of your ring. There you're gonna find the words, strive for honor. This inscription is from the Matador song and serves as a charge to every Texas Tech graduate to excel with integrity in all endeavors. Below that, you're gonna find your personalized inscription that is unique only to your ring. This inscription is your identifier. If your ring is ever lost, the honest finder can return it to you by contacting the Alumni Association, you can call up Dr. Dean, or the Balfour Company. Now, on the bottom of your ring, it's very easy, very, very easy here. Double T's tied with a decorative band. So now that we've taken you on a geographical and historical tour of your ring, hopefully it's a little more meaningful to you now that you know all about its symbols. When you think about it, your ring really encapsulates Texas Tech and will forever serve to remind you of what being a Red Raider means. It's also, of course, a sign to others of your academic accomplishment and the pride you have in your alma mater. As you travel around Lubbock, across the state, the country, or even around the world, your ring will, you can use to serve as a symbol of honor. Use your ring to bear your banner proudly. You may now put on your rings.
Now, remember the double T, it's going to face you until graduation day. So face it inside. And then when President Skubinik at graduation tells you, he'll give you an allotted time to turn your ring, and that's when you'll turn it outward. Red Raiders, congratulations. Wreck them. Now I'd like to ask everyone to stand as we conclude this program with the Matador song. The Student Alumni Board will join me on stage.